What is going on? It is go time. This is Mortar Mike, and this is yet another, another Watch Your Realms video. Today, you know what day it is. It is Monday, AKA Big Hall Monday. We are here to get it. Let's make it work. We got Twyla on the way in the shadow of the Castle event. I'm so I'm hyped because I know she's a beast, but I'm gonna do something that I probably shouldn't do today. You know the new Legendary Heroes coming in. Why did that drop frame rate? That was weird. Um, X and her are gonna be here. It's just going to be a 15X. If it was a two by 15X, I'd be happy. I think it's just a 15. So it's gonna be risk, high risk, high reward. Should be nice. Celine's coming to the game. Be careful whenever Celine comes to the game, trouble ensues. So be very careful. <laughs> For those of y'all that didn't know, the whole drama that happened over this past weekend also happened in 2022 when Celine was released on Forerunner server. So I'm being careful because Celine might be a little cursed. Let's be careful. Speaking of that Beatrix is going to be coming to the game fairly soon as well. She's a pretty good damage dealer for a mage. She has a really interesting range, almost like Cratch, um, but good DPS and a good summoner champion. So good hero coming in. You know, all the other stuff here event sign in, yada 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 rewards, main events. You know, this right here is free rewards, free eats, free eats, free eats. This skin for comment. The end of day's comet skin, it shall be mine. The other two, nice. Gonna get the Baron one, might get the Hex turn into Dante one. I might get that one. I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to collect all my good stuff because it is time. First thing I'm starting off with, something's in the mailbox. I don't know what it is. Must be nice. Going into the guild. We have knocked out guild boss one and two. Let's see what we got here because we want to get them exclusives, them gleaming meteorites. Let's see if we can get something nice when we get into APOC two. Got an extra summon. That's going to come in handy for Shadow Munch. <laughs> Some extra energy, that's always welcome. Let's see, oh, we got purple, that's okay, that's all right. 200 gems out of purple, with that. Okay, extra stuff right here, getting close to getting my next legendary skill crystal. Oh, screenshot that for the culture. I gotta send that to somebody, that's good stuff right there. Very nice, out of there, we are now in a pot, apocalypse, titanic ruins. Let's see if we got out of chest number one. Looks like our boys are already starting on the next run, which is amazing, it's beautiful to see. You love to see it. First chest. Ooh, hoo, hoo. All right. what's in here? Ancients, oh, a bunch of them spirits, oof. But ancients, two of the summons, 600 mythal, 150 diamonds or gems, whatever you want to call them in this game. But these cuckoo con, People joke, because I was like, what are you saying? What, what, what are you saying? They're called Cuckoo Khan. That's the same thing they call Namor in Black Panther. They called him Cuckoo Khan. But they hear, we got a bunch of those. Sure, that's neat. Uh, I do need to get over 200, so that's nice. Oh, Mythic. This time it's going to be Mythic, because I am close. Yeah, let's get it. All right, I'm close to getting another one, so I'm going to use that. Awesome. Next one, let's go. Ooh, what's in the chest? What's inside? Ooh, <laughs> I'm hyped. I couldn't even say everything. Oh yeah, we cooking. Oh yeah, we cooking. Okay, so we got two of these mythic artifact essences. That's gonna get us to, I think it gets up to 30? No, 28, so we're almost at a new one now, which is great. Gleamings, we always want the gleamings. Nice to have. Of course, the refining crystals. We got 200 gems, more of the primitive spirits. The red ones here, enchantress spirit and a bunch of ancient summons. We got two ancient, four, I'm sorry, four ancient summons and two rare summons. Very nice, very nice. What do we want us, ooh, eternal bullion. Easy, easy decision. That gets me the four, right? Yep, almost got enough for another upgrade. Mm. Now, if you'll excuse me, I gotta knock out Void Rip. Actually, what is in this freaking mailbox? What is here? More rewards. Arena permit rewards, nice. Gear war rewards, nice. Big Hawk Monday, am I right? Allow me to tap a whole bunch of buttons. I'll be back shortly and I'm gonna knock out Void Rift so we can continue the content. See you guys in a few. And just like that, we are finished with Void Rift. Let us collect our rewards because we need to get some exclusives and we need to get into some summons. Don't worry, I'm gonna be ready for Twilo when she comes out this weekend. Claim it all, give me all the, do I have any ancients too? I'm gonna be like Stormy. <laughs> I do be trying to get those ancients, I understand. Also, we knocked it out. We got Overlord in the arena as well. Good rewards, Apex Chess. If you didn't know about this, I'm saying this every week so people know about this. Every week, if you get an Overlord, go to the Apex Crystal Shop, 
and you can get this here, it's Apex Crystal Chest, which gives you sometimes summons or summon fragments. This time I got another Ancient. Go there, do it. All right, we're finally here. We've gotten to these, this is part one we're doing. Also, um, I've got a feature on something very recently. I gotta tell you all about it. So I was featured on Wars Going On with Art Tours and Sebastian Keynes. I'll put an image up here so you can go to their channel because I think they're currently editing the episode. I got the feature on it, not feature, but guest. On there. We talked about all the cool stuff that's coming to the game as well as what just happened in the game. We learned about a bunch of different stuff about the new Gear War maps, um, the new ancient mythic and variant gear recycling that's coming out, um, interface, different stuff that's coming to the game, chapter 10, talked about like that, Dwarves Association, last slot changes, revised golden dragon path, because there's 20 more levels coming to that, seven new pieces of exclusive gear that are coming to heroes in the game, and there's some nice we're still trying to figure out Zelda stuff, but here's some nice ones. So do tune in. I do hope you guys check that out. I'm in there. We're bugging out. We're laughing a good bit too. Really awesome content. Hope y'all enjoy that. Now, let us get into these here. Exclusives, 344. Mmm, that's enough for what? Like uh, eight? Eight of them? Eight chances? Let's see if we get something nice. I'm ready. I'm hyped. Here we go. First one. Regal Crest, always welcome. Those are good to use, are good to use. I like these those on Broke here. Will and Skull, always welcome. And then we got our regular, ooh, ISN, okay, good, good. And then we got our actual one plus ones. I'm gonna give another shot as well. Key the Forsaken, we getting some of these. Nice, we want some exclusives. Reaper's Emblems, for me it feels it's pretty rare. I'm getting them now a lot more in a Titan. I think it's Titan Forge, Wisdom Forge. I'm getting a lot more of them now, but I want to get some exclusives today. That's that's why we're here, right? Yeah. <laughs> but let's black three. We have enough for two more. Can we get an exclusive? Reaper's emblem. Oof. Last one, then rare summons. Tears bomb. No exclusives from here, but I will say I've gotten like seven of them over the past week during the AMR event. I got a new one for Shamir. I got one for Nyx. Um, I got another one for K who I don't have. I got a whole bunch of them, but um, a good bit. I wish I remember them all off the top of my head, but I got a lot of them and it actually did upgrade my account pretty nicely. I got an upgrade for Raza also, which to me I thought was one of the worst to have, but now I feel like it's one of the best because of all the freaking damage he does in GVG at A5 where he can do his ult twice. And then those little um, soul eater fish, whatever they're called, those things do crazy damage. So very happy about those now. Let's take a gamble here. Let's take a risk. It is Big Haul Monday. What would it be? How would it be a Big Haul Monday without trying to go for a Big Haul? We got some nice stuff so far. Let's get into the summon, shall we? Let me tap a button or two. Right now, we have a total of about 40 or so summons that we can get out of this. I want to see if we could do it. That would be nice. But people are like, oh, but Morta, you're gonna risk it in Twyla. I'm cool. Twyla's not going anywhere. She's not a limited hero. She, she, she's gonna be here. She, she'll be there. I'll be good. Are you sure and about plus, that? I got a way to get what I wanna get by then. Hopefully, it pays off, right? <laughs> First 10, let's see if we can get the extra legendary hero. I do want a Torador. I don't have a Venoma. I don't have a Morgan. I don't have a Magda. That's the majority of the ones I want. A Salazar as well would be really nice. Um, I don't have an Aelin. Interestingly enough, I don't have her either. So I got a pretty simple list of my Nassets that I want to get. And plus I'll take as many dupes that aren't already A5 as I can. Let's see if we can get something out of this. Let's try. Oh, hoo -hoo, is it here? Oh, the button didn't work. Glass detected. Boys, that's quick. I like that big hole. What is it? <laughs> Number one, a video. That's Kineza. Okay, cool. I'll take that because I get to get Kineza to be stronger. So when I get Salazar, it's going to a lot more damage than she does. It's not the water most people want, but I like Kineza. Plus, she has some of the best music for her um, summoning stuff. It sounds like freaking Dark Knight Batman, like Christopher Nolan's version. It sounds amazing. But yeah, um, yeah. <laughs> it's not a hmm for me. I'm happy to have her. Kinesa is actually a really cool hero. She, she, I keep feeling like there's something missing in her kit to make her better. And to me, it would be more stuns. That's the biggest thing she needs in her kit is more stuns just for her survivability. I think that would be awesome. For a chance to gain shields as she does dodges, that would be nice. That would be nice. But she also brought 50 gems. 
and, an, and another legendary hero with her. Not bad, who is it? Okay, now who is the extra? Who is the extra? We got a nightmare fighter, there's a lot of those. Who is it, who is it, who is it? Oh, this should be interesting. Ooh, Constance, another Constance. I think this makes it either A1 or A2 for me. This is great. Freaking, I mean, I mean, what do you want me to say? Everybody knows what Constance does. She does what Dolores does, but does it on ground. Um, she's very reliable. She is like an essential, a must-have for um, APOT 2. So I watched content from one of our cool peoples out here named Slate. Shout out to you, Slate, you make dope stuff. Um, she knows this, I'm saying it again, you make dope stuff. She was doing uh, APOT 2, and I think she was at like, like 60 or 70 or 80K that she was getting before. And she got Constance over the weekend. She put Constance in the team. I think it was the same day. And she ran APOC 2 and got like over 130,000. Like it was, it's nuts, it's nuts. One hero can really make the difference. This is one of those heroes that can do it. That's hype. That got me excited. Now I must discuss something, something we gotta talk about. Let me turn this down too, cause that music is banging. I'm about to like start a dance dance like all day. It's about to happen. Along with wars going on, we made contact with the Arcturus and Sebastian Kane. There's been some dire situations that have happened on the test server. So everybody knows the OG test server was called, I think it was Dan Hildman that had it first. Um, and then it ended up becoming Mortarland. So I ended up jumping on there, having a good time on there. And I was inactive for a while. So because I was inactive, it got handed over to Jake Smash. And then it took me a long time to do season two of GVG Faction Brawl, which I would love to do. I still want to do Jake's, you know, I still want to do that. But while we were beating our chests <laughs> and debating and such, um, Sebastian Keynes was working hard on the test server, diligently, if you may, and making tons of content. And so in seven days, it used to be 30 days, if I'm not mistaken, in seven days time, they transferred the guild leadership from Jake to Sebastian Keynes, and it is now Keynes country. So <laughs> the mortal lands ain't looking how it used to look. <laughs> But yeah, that being said, I have to put together something with these awesome content creators and find out something we must do. What do you guys think we should do? Let me know in the comment section or over here in the chat. What should we do? Put a little bit of time in the video because I really want to see your answers. What should we do? And also, I want to say this too. Thank you guys so freaking much. We did the live recently. We were talking about the big challenge that happened in the game um, that really split the community a lot of different ways, but thankfully, Moontime did a good job of trying to fit, you know, a patch of the issues they have, and they're still bringing it back out for the player base to still partake so everybody gets the same chance to get it the right way, the right way. I went and did a live, I think I was the first person to make like a video and just went live and talked to the audience and a bunch of you guys came in. I think it was over 200 people in the chat at one, like in the conversation at once. It was nuts, it was nuts. But as a result, we got 25 new, um, people to join the channel as in like get the memberships so they're here doing the super spicy hand rubs and whatnot it's a really nice day it's a really nice day because they got the emojis and such i gave away a bunch of them i think i gave away 10 and a bunch of people jumped in i thought that was really freaking awesome thank you you all also we went up like 70 subscribers that's nuts i'm I'm enthused, I'm enthralled by that. Thank you guys. I just wanted to say that myself. Thank you all for all the awesome work you guys have been doing, sitting here watching and enjoying my content, hitting that little button down there, you know, smash the like button. Did it glow up? Did it do the thing that it does when I say that? Sometimes if I say smash the like button or subscribe or whatnot, it glows on the bottom. If you haven't already, you subscribers may not get that. <laughs> But those of you that haven't, I'm shaking up your UI just for you. This has been more of my, I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. Let us have an amazing, awesome freaking week. Twyla is on the way. Hex Brand is gonna be on there matching her. I cannot wait to summon for those as well. I saved my summons. I thought I was about to go real low end. I'm happy. That ain't bad for a one plus one. That's the first 10 pull. And it was like, all right, we coming. We coming. What you need? Love y'all. Take care. See y'all soon. Peace. I like doing this now. I'll do this more often. Bye.